Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the 90s space buns or bunches as I like to call them. I have very long hair and sometimes it's hard for people to achieve it so I thought it'd be a great tutorial to share with you plus lots of you have requested it. So you're going to need a tail comb just so that you can part your hair. You're going to need a Kirby grip of some sort, I like these ones, or you can opt for the traditional bobby pins. You'll also need some hair elastics, I like to use these clear ones, make sure you get nice ones that are very stretchy, especially if you have thick hair. And then some additional elements, if you have very fine hair you might want to use some dry shampoo for grip, or you can use the Living Proof Dry Volume Texture Spray. I prefer to do this when my hair needs a wash, because it adds more grip, it holds better, and it just gives me another day where I don't have to necessarily wash my hair. So I'm going in with a very small amount of dry shampoo just at the roots. It not only will help hold the style, but it just means it doesn't look greasy. And then in the mid lengths of the hair, I'm applying a little bit of that Live Proof Dry Texture Spray. So taking our tail comb, I like to do mine on a side parting, and I create a zigzag parting on a diagonal to the center of the crown. And I like to do this because it gives it a really nice pattern, a nice shape, and it also adds some texture to the hair because we're gonna add a little bit of a fun element to this look. I'm also doing a zigzag parting all the way down the center of the back of the head to the nape of the neck. I like to do deep waves, but you can do smaller ones, it's completely up to you. I'm gonna briefly wrap this side away because this side is slightly thinner than the opposite side because this side is on the diagonal, so we have less hair to work with. So I always like to start with the thicker side first. It's easier for us to make this thinner side look bigger than it will be to try and make the thicker side look smaller. So just wrap this in a low bun, pin it out of the way so that it doesn't get in the way of the side that we're working with. So this is the fun element that I like to add to my space buns. I like to do a French plait or a French braid on the top half of the thicker section going backwards. You don't have to, you can just pull them straight back. You don't have to do a braid, but I feel like this adds to the look. So take a small triangle at the front, separate this into three individual sections. You might want to spray a little bit of the texture spray or the dry shampoo to give it grip so that it makes it easier for you to weave. Then create a regular three strand French braid working backwards in a diagonal. So you're aiming to finish this braid towards the left side of your crown. It's actually the right side on me, but the left side looking at the screen. So remember when you are creating a French braid, you're always picking up hair to add to the braid itself. And you can also do this with a Dutch braid that looks equally as beautiful. It means it's almost like the French braid is inside out so that you actually see each of the sections sitting on top of the braid. As I mentioned, this does add texture. And the way that this adds texture to the look is because I like to pull up the sections that are along the zigzag parting. This adds kind of like a little dimension, almost like what my mum used to refer to as sharkies. You would want to brush your sharkies out, but we're adding sharkies in. And then the reason they're called sharkies is because it's the little bits of hair that stick up like a shark fin um, and my mum would brush those smooth but as you can see we're adding those in because when you turn around you can see it adds really lovely texture to this style so just continue braiding backwards and then this is going to be the last bit we pick up it's kind of in line with the temple pull that one up and then you want to stop adding hair in instead just continue to create the braid backwards a little bit so that it keeps it tight while you pull the rest of the hair up you don't want that to become baggy so hold that in one hand and then with your other hand just very softly pull that upwards to meet your other hand so that you are creating a ponytail and it doesn't need to be neat at this stage because we're going to take a brush. My favourite is the Denman Tangle Teaser. Start at the back and brush it up to meet your hand so it becomes nice and tight. And we do this to get rid of any sharkies at the back. Then we're going to take one of our clear hair elastics and you want to tie your ponytail off so it's nice and tight. When you loop that elastic over, keep your dominant hand on the actual base of your ponytail because you don't want this to become baggy. For example, here on the second wind round, you pull the ponytail through with your dominant hand and you hold the elastic with the opposite one. If you do that when you first loop it through, it will become baggy. Pull your ponytail so it pulls the elastic as close to the root as possible. These are no snag elastics. Buy those specifically so that they don't ruin your hair. Then you just want to tweak your braid, you can pull it out a little bit. Again, don't pull too hard because you don't want it to become too baggy, but just manipulate so you've got some shape going on at the root. 
Now we can take down our slightly smaller side and we're not going to braid this one instead we are going to use our brush just to give the back a nice comb so there's no sharkies pull it up nice and tight but you want to make sure it's in balance with the opposite side that you've already done then again take a clear elastic band with your dominant hand keep hold of the base of your ponytail and use your free hand to loop the elastic as well as pull the hair through once you've twisted that elastic you know it's then securely in place and you can be a bit quicker with your tying off I normally like to tie mine three times. And then once again, just give them a little tug and make sure they're nice and even. So this is what it looks like from behind with our zigzag parting. You can use a tiny amount of hairspray if you have any flyaways and use your comb to flatten them. And now once again, we're gonna start with our fuller side because this ponytail is slightly thicker. It's barely visible, but it is definitely thicker. If you've got quite fine hair or slippy hair or it's freshly washed, apply a bit more of the dry volume texture spray to the lengths. Start to twist the hair and as you start to twist it, pull at the lengths to create some texture. This is where we want a few more sharkies poking out because this is what's going to create the shape to our space buns. If you just wrapped it very smooth, it wouldn't look like typical messy buns. When you have long hair, the very last sort of five inches, you just want to wrap around at the very base of your bun and just tuck it inwards. We're not going to use this to create the shape instead. We're just going to use this to wrap it around and hide underneath our bun. Before you start really tugging at it to create shape, use one of your bobby pins, your Kirby grips, whatever kind of grip you've got to secure it in place. Apply a couple of these in a few different strategic areas to secure it in place and then you'll be able to start pulling at it very gently. Now don't worry if like me you have layers in your hair and you get bits that are spiking out the top. These are actually really really cute. You can back comb these in a little while just to give them a little fluffy finish and I feel like this really adds to the space buns. I like to call them bunchies. I never called them space buns but I called them bunchies growing up. I think they're universally known as space buns. For this next one, I am twisting it behind my head because I want to rotate it in the opposite direction to the first bun. They don't ever come out symmetrical if you rotate them exactly the same way. Now, as this ponytail is thinner, you want to make more of a thing of this one. So all the way down the length of this one, I've pulled out little sharkies and then I'm wrapping it and pulling them out at the same time because I need to make it as voluminous as the first one. If you just wrapped this in the same way you did with the first one, it would be smaller. So that's why I said at the very beginning, you can make the smaller one bigger, but it's harder to make the bigger one smaller because there's more hair. Before you pin it in place, just make sure you've kind of pulled it out around the same volume as the first bun that we've created. Once you're happy, secure it with a few pins in a few different places. I usually like to do one at the front and one at the back. That way you're able to pull at it without it going baggy. Now, as we do have some small bits sticking out at the middle, you also want to make sure you have some sticking out in the middle of this one. So just use your hands to pull at the finer strands so that you've got some little flyaways in the center because you want your fluffiness to be even as well. Now you'll just see me tweaking at different areas. They're by no means even yet, but they will be by the time I've finished. The nice thing is if like this area that's sticking out too much, you can just push it back in with a little pin so that it's also secured but it looks a bit thinner. I can also see that I've brushed this area a lot tighter than the opposite side because the other side we've got a braid so it doesn't sit quite as flush to the scalp as this side. So now that the buns are secure we can actually pull at these areas and pull down small tendrils to make it look a little bit more lived in. Then as you start to become a little bit more happy with it, apply a couple more pins. I think I normally have in around five or six in each bun and that completely keeps them in all day until I remove them. Sometimes even the elastics have snapped on the inside when I take out the buns, but they've stayed in place because of the grips. So I'm back combing some of those tiny flyaways at the top and spraying a little bit of the dry texture spray in them and then securing a little pin in the middle and that is basically how I achieve my 90s bunches or space buns. This is one of my go-to looks when I'm in Disney. It's also a favourite of mine for when your hair needs a wash. So I hope you love it. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Please give this hair tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to come follow me outside of YouTube. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you on Thursday with another look. Bye guys.